All right, folks, we are back live. Thank you so much for joining us on this live Sunday edition. The 27th day of December 2009. Coming up, I'm going to get into government-run health care, worse than we even thought previously. The 2,000-plus page bill is a nightmare takeover of your life. And we've got Chris Matthews hailing an admitted communist and Luciferian. You can't make stuff up like this. Saul Alensky talking about how great their dream is and how it's now coming true. Remember, though, communists are just the group of pirates. Uh, it's like when the circus comes to town, you've got to have somebody to put, put up the posters. They're just the little low-level crew members that carry out the looting. They deliver the booty back to the bankers. And that's why you've got the Rockefeller Foundation, the Carnegie Foundation, and others, the Ford Foundation, openly funding Saul Alinsky, Barack Obama, all of these people. And they mean business. These are cold-blooded thugs. And they're not communists. They're Wall Street businessmen who have an army of communist uh, deadbeats under them who want free handouts and who will carry out tyranny to get it. So coming up, the health care plan. Also, Obama gives Interpol inside the United States, the International Police Organization, gives them immunity. Notice our own military, our own police don't get this type of immunity. This is total immunity, even from crime. It's completely illegal. But see, the globalists set up the U.N. so they give themselves imperial power. Magna Carta in 1215, uh, the nobles grabbed the king and said, we're going to chop your head off if you don't stop saying you're God and stop saying you can commit any crime against nature you want, any crime against common sense. So since 1214 or 1215, uh, England, this power hasn't been there until the Rockefellers set up the United Nations. <laughs> and they gave themselves this power, and now they've got it inside the U.S., so that's coming up. Also, I told you years ago, the feds are federalizing all over the world, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, training them to spy on their parents, training them for warrant service, training them to, quote, take on veterans and for gun confiscation. That's in the New York Times. Oh, look how good the Explorer Scouts are. They're training to take on disgruntled veterans. They practice sweeping the home and taking out the vet and then taking the cache of weapons. That's the New York Times. That's in my film, Actual New York Times front page, and then with the color photos of it happening, that's in my film, Fall of the Republic. You cannot make this up, but it's back in the news today. And, and I noticed the first caller, and I went and checked online during the break. It is him. He is Wyatt from Maryland. It was Wyatt in Maryland in 1998 sent me footage of an urban warfare drill with the Marines practicing to take over their town with their police. And the police walked up with the Marines, with machine guns drawn, and said, you can't film us in America, and pointed the machine guns at them. That footage is in my film, Police Day 2000. The first time I ever saw it, it was the Boy Scouts training to take on the local gun owners and telling the Marines where the militia members were, played by other Marines. And they had the local police department involved. And I and I got this footage, and I showed it to people, and I said, look, they're training the kids to, to go after veterans' guns. Now it's mainstream news and back in the news today. And I was going to cover that near the end of the show. Uh, I have the stack right here. It's in the Sacramento Bee. It's in the Contra Coast Times. Uh, it's in uh, the New Media Journal. The fifth column is the name of this column. Obama extends diplomatic immunity to Interpol by executive order. FEMA press release, national level exercise, 2009, training with troops from 14 countries to take on the American people. Here's IDF U.S. National Guard to share defense ideas. IDF forces to be deployed amongst U.S. military forces, quote, to take on U.S. terrorists on U.S. soil. Foreign troops right out in the open. Can't trust the American people, but you can trust foreign troops. Oh, here it is. Daily News. 
LAPD on course to take over Explorer program. Youth's new name, uniforms, insignia planned. LAPD taking over from the Boy Scouts. 3,000 young people in L.A. And then, folks, we've gotten the training manuals and video. Even the New York Times reports on it, but says it's good. They are training literally to confiscate your guns. And remember, I told you that 10 years ago. I told you when we got internal FBI documents, we got more earlier this year. It made national attention. The MIAC and Homeland Security Report saying veterans, gun owners, libertarians, conservatives are the real terrorists. Homeland Security is really set up for you. We broke that. And the, the, the issue here is they are training your children to spy on you and to confiscate your guns. In fact, here's the New York Times. I got uh, Jaron to pull it up. Jaron, can you pull up the actual New York Times for people, not just the print off? I want to click on the photo section, and I want to show PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. For those that don't know, that just listen to the radio, you can tune into PrisonPlanet.tv and watch the video. Uh, I want people to actually see the photos as the scouts trained to kill U.S. veterans, because seeing is believing. And, of course, this article says how great it is. Now, that said, I have no idea what Wyatt, who calls in about every three years, I went and checked the phones, and sure enough, it was him. Wyatt, you're the first guy to send me video of this in 1998, 11 years ago. And, boy, we were kooks. People didn't even believe the video uh, of dozens of kids out uh, in their white T-shirt uniforms directed by the Marines in gun confiscation now in Arcadia, uh, earlier this year, we had the colonel on. He admitted, yes, we're training with the locals and the kids for a gun confiscation drill. They're quite honest. Your children are being trained to take your guns. This is what America is all about. This is what George Washington was all about. Uh, good to have you uh, here with us, uh, Wyatt. Perfect day for you to call in. <laughs> Well, thank you, Alex, and uh, I'd like to wish you and your family a happy new year, and hopefully it'll be a, a much, much better new year. Um, uh, yeah, the, uh, that uh, uh, in Hebron, Maryland is where that was, and uh, there was also another guy uh, there. His name is uh, Sheldon Isaacs, and I've lost touch with him. I don't even know where Sheldon is, but he's the one that the Marines came up to at night and told him to turn his camera off, and... Uh, uh, had their guns ready, uh, had their uh, uh, military weapons. These are all lieutenants that were involved in this. Uh, um, first, uh, and it was a, it was a, it was a, uh, a uh, gun confiscation drill uh, for that was set up by these young lieutenants. Anyway, the kids on the bicycles. Uh, I talked to them and I said, "Hey, you know, you know this stuff that's going on in your town." Is, uh, is really terrible. I said, what you ought to do is go back to them and say, hey, uh, there's somebody down by the, the, the grain silos to, uh, that's, uh, that, 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 that is, uh, uh, an, an insurgent. Well, they went back and told them that. And my God, they started sending Humvees down the street. And, uh, they were actually looking for me. Because the kids told them who said it. And, uh, well, you know, that's the problem. People don't know history. They don't know in ancient Rome or in Nazi Germany or Soviet Russia or Maoist China or Pol Pot's Cambodia. When the state starts coming and militarizing your children and literally turning them against you. Remember, all this training was going on before 9-11. And I'll never forget the Ram Corporation said... There's going to be big terror attacks. We're going to set up a thing called Homeland Security. We're going to take everybody's rights. And now Iran Corporation wrote up the plan to fully federalize all police. That's already happened. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is all pointed at you and your farm and your ranch and your business and your paycheck. This has nothing to do with al-Qaeda. Now, Wyatt, I got you off because, I mean, at Wyatt, Maryland, uh, you know, you call every two or three years. But I got you off on other subjects. What did you originally call in about? Okay, what I called in about uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with this uh, Detroit situation. Tonight on 60 Minutes, they're going to have a CIA agent or CIA whatever discussing about the, 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 the direct possible attacks of terrorism in this country. Yeah, stay there. You notice they've been getting us all ready for it. Stay there.